Federal engineers have finished a major repair project at Lake Powell, restoring the bypass tubes that allow water to flow downstream even if the dam's turbines stop working. The tubes, which were rarely used in the past, are now expected to play a critical role as the lake continues to fall to dangerously low levels after more than two decades of mega drought and unrelenting demand on the Colorado River. Lake Powell, the nation's second largest reservoir, is a lifeline in the Southwest, storing water that supplies tens of millions of people in cities like Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Las Vegas. But as levels continue to drop, experts warn the hydroelectric turbines at Glen Canyon Dam could soon become inoperable leaving the bypass tubes as the only way to keep water flowing downstream. Originally designed as a backup feature, the tubes are quickly turning into an essential tool for keeping the river system alive. The recent repairs, which cost nearly $9 million and were funded through Biden-era infrastructure investments, involved recoding the inside of the massive pipes to ensure they can withstand heavy use if Lake Powell sinks further. Officials announced the work was completed two months ahead of schedule, underscoring the urgency of the situation. The Colorado River has been shrinking for years, with climate change fueling hotter, drier conditions across the region. Combined with steady population growth and rising demand for water, the strain on the river system has left both Lake Powell and Lake Mead at historically low levels. The bypass tubes are not just an engineering project, they are part of a larger effort to keep water flowing to millions of people, farms, and industries that depend on this critical resource. As federal agencies and western states continue negotiating the future of the Colorado River, the completion of these repairs offers a temporary safeguard. Still, experts say that without major conservation measures and long-term planning, the challenges facing the river system will only deepen, putting the Southwest's water security at risk.